Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel. And today's episode kicks off with a bit of news coming from the manager's office. So, Calvin Phillips has stepped into Pep Guardiola's office and said to Pep that he wants to start more games this season. He hasn't started many games. And Pep Guardiola explains that Rodri, of course, is the key man in that position. But Calvin Phillips wants to be given some starts at Manchester City here since his move. And he wants to prove his ability to Pep Guardiola. And Guardiola says, OK, you can start the first game of the episode. You can start some of the games in today's episode. Show your talent and we'll see how you do. And, and Calvin Phillips gonna say, is said he's going to give his all for the club. And that is going to be interesting. And there will be lots more conversations in the manager's office throughout this series. Just to get a look at basically some of the lesser known players, we are through the Champions League, we are through top with just a point. So today we go with the lesser known players, some of the younger players, chance for them to impress and we will simulate the Sevilla game at home. So Carson starts in goal. We've got Rico Lewis, Mamal Akanji, Nathan Ake and Josh Wilson as in the back four. It's captain Calvin Phillips, so it's going to be captain Nathan Ake. It's Calvin Phillips, Phil Foden and Sergio Gomez will start in the middle today, why not? Although I, I was thinking of maybe starting a winger and putting Palmer through the middle, but we'll put Sergio Gomez in the middle. He's played in midfield, he is naturally a midfielder. On the left, Oscar Bob. On the right, Cole Palmer. And through the middle, it's Julian Alvarez. On the bench, Mickey Van Sass, Finley Burns, Laporte, Galvez, Gundogan, Emilio Lawrence, and Adere and Bude as well. As for Copenhagen, Dorami, the only real known player in there, along with Falk and Zeka in the midfield too. Vivaro on the bench. We only got a 1-0 win against them, scraped through. We're obviously through now. Let's see how this game goes. So Champions League action here at the Etihad Stadium. A chance to have a look at some of our younger players. A very, very young side out here against Copenhagen. Scott Carson gets some Champions League games and they will in the next fixture as well, which we'll simulate. But it's good to see the boys out there getting their chance, these young players, in a Champions League game where they can impress, maybe get into the first team more often. Luis and Esbrand, of course, in there already. But uh, the likes of maybe Oscar Bob. Um, and Boudet on the bench. Chance for them to impress. Lewis. Yeah, good start here. Rico Lewis. Through the middle here. Rico Lewis. Straight to the goalkeeper. That is shocking defending from Copenhagen. Okay. Pressure on. Okay. Again. Pulling behind him. Amal Akanji. Standout player in the last episode for the final game against Arsenal. Cross comes in here. Oh, mistake by Rico Lewis. Scott Carson picks it up. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob tries his luck. Not a bad strike from Bob. Palmer, watch out for a throw in. Well, young players impressing immediately. Lewis. Sergio Gomez off the post by the young fullback. Now midfielder for today. Gomez. Gomez on his right foot went all the way on his own there. Opportunity to impress. Probably should have passed it. Didn't do. Rico Lewis. Foden looking for Lewis. Dealt with. Rico Lewis at the far post. What a save by the goalkeeper. Well, Rico Lewis. Young fullback nearly got his first ever Champions League goal. Bit lucky the way it fell to him. Oh, he's got the full net eh, to name for. Easily dispossessed. Emilio Lawrence, foot in. Phillips, big foot in. Burns chases. Leaves us open. Scott Carson beating. And Copenhagen get a goal in the 80th minute. Lapointe needed to finish top of the group. I assume we'll get that against Sevilla. But that is disappointing. Dragged out position is Finley Burns. Scott Carson. Whether he should get beat by that, I don't know. Thomas Galvez. And to Oscar Bob. Galvez. Brilliant. Across the box here. Tapping for Lawrence. Well, they defended away. The far post there. It was good play by our young players. Palmer. And Boudé there on the right hand side. Full time. City nil. Copenhagen one. Depends on the Dortmund result, but um, that is a poor start to the episode, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. The young players, some didn't impress at all. One of our youth players has been really, really impressing in the youth team, and that is Carlos Borges, 18 years of age, the Portuguese. 
youngster. Market value currently of 6 million, but we do believe he could be worth around 70 million. Potentially around 85, only 64 rated at the moment. We do believe he can go to the very, very top in this Man City team. He's got six goals and four assists already in 10 Premier League 2 games. Of course, the under-23s UEFA Champions League as well. He's got an early crosser as his trait. He's a good dribbler and also pace. And pace is something this Manchester City side does lack. Now, it'd be tough to throw him straight in there and expect him to be a starter for City or a player off the bench. But I do believe in time we could have one real top player. Now, he's inconsistent. He is very short as well. He's not the biggest of players. His link-up play is sometimes lacking, his passing and also his decision-making. But that all comes with experience with a young player getting there in time and playing with the first team. And of course, training with the first team, which the idea is perhaps if we were to lose a player on loan or to lose a player in the market, we would bring Carl Sporges into the first team, promote him. He can still play for the youth team, but he would be training with the first team. Now, he's physically very gifted, he's showing high potential, and he suits our style of play. He's a very intelligent runner and very quick as well. And, and that, to me, shows that we've got a player, if we were to bring in Carlos Borges to the first team, who can make those intelligent runs in behind. Perhaps he could learn from another player. We are looking at perhaps a winger in the summer. But if Carlos Borges impresses, maybe you guys would say in the votes that we're going to do on the community community section, you know what, we don't want a winger anymore. We don't want a big name. We'll stick with Carlos Borges and trust in the youth. That is not always something you go for, especially in only being 18 years of age. But certainly one for the future in this Manchester City team, Carl Sporges. I'm interested to see how his stats play out throughout the season. And if we do bring him into the first team, how he performs. So next, the second place Wolves in the Premier League. We currently have Aymeric Laporte out injured for whatever reason. He's picked up a, a little knee injury, hasn't he? And, and Kevin De Bruyne not quite fully fit to start today's game. So Edison's back in net. We're going to keep giving him a chance. He starts in goal today. It's Walker Stones, Diaz and Cancelo in that back four. We've got Roger Bernardo Silver and Captain Ilka Gundogan in the midfield three. Grealish on the left, Mars on the right and Erling Haaland through the middle. Foden, Alvarez, De Bruyne, Felix, Ake, Akanji and Ortega, Moreno on the bench. As for Wolves, look at that, which Pedro Neto has grown to 87 rated. He starts on that right hand side for them. Mateus Munch is on the bench. Jose sat in goal like Nuri, Niansu, Kilman and Johnny at the back. No, Collins, he's on the bench. Ruben Neves and Moutinho in there. Hwangi Chan up top. Plazovic on the bench, or the reserves actually, along with Gonzalo Gueds in the bench, Jimenez. They are second in the league, Wolves, so it's a must-win game really here at the Etihad, as every game should be. So in poor form at the moment really, the past two episodes, and today we face Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Etihad Stadium. They are in second place in the Premier League. If you want to climb the table, we've got to be beating sides like Wolves. The likes of Neves in there, Pedro Neto, very strong Wolves side. Underarm, referee, it's a foul right on the edge of the box here, on Erling Carland. Late challenge on him by Bruno Jordão. This is surely Ilkay Gundogan territory. Ilkay Gundogan, what a save by Jose Sarr. A little bit to the left of him, he would have scored there. Very unlucky, but a top save by the Portuguese goalkeeper. Away from Cancelo. Johnny again. Pedro Neto. To the box here. Chance for Huang Yi Chan. And he slices shot wide of the post. Haaland. Great play. Walker. Mares. Bernardo Silva. He's too busy. Too many times our players are getting in a physical battle. Just run past him. He's jumping for the header. Run past him, Bernardo. Can't seem to get near them. Nevsh. Moutinho past Walker. Stones goes out to close this one down. Wangi Chan with a header. Good save by Edison. Rodri away. You can see that pass is never going to work there, Joao can tell you. You still did it. You still executed that, that cheaply. Grealish. Grealish. Let me pass, game. Let me pass. Haaland blocked away. Corner, let me pass the ball. Wouldn't let me pass. I'm spamming pass and just will not let Grealish pass the ball. We haven't got many midfielders though, have we really? Grealish. Gundogan. Cancelo. Cancelo. Haaland's in there. Haaland heads it wide. I just don't get it. Just don't get how he doesn't play that pass there. Cancelo. Neto. 1-0 Wolves. 
Done on the counter. Can't even foul someone purposefully. Edison beating a one on one. How can Salah doesn't foul in there? I don't know. Newcastle all over again. Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne. Way by Mateus Nunes. Rodri out to Foden. Foden. Diaz is in there. Good defending. Again. Foden. Haaland in there. Cleared away. Walker. Foden's offside again. You cretin, Foden. Well, Foden's not seen the pitch for a few games after the two stupid offsides. Three defeats in a row at home now. Three defeats in a row at home. A 1 0 defeat to Wolves. A 3 2 defeat to Newcastle. And a 1 0 defeat to Copenhagen. Shocking from City. Absolutely shocking. But well, Chelsea draw 2 2. Arsenal draw. United draw. Liverpool draw. Teams around us are drawing. We're in fourth position on 25 points. Top of the table now. Wolves on 28. Newcastle and Chelsea in second and third. A very unexpected Premier League season, this one. Very unexpected. Just, you can't predict it. You really can't. Every team is so good. This is the side for Leicester City today. Next game in the Premier League. We're away from home. Edison starts in goal. It's Walker, Captain Diaz, Ake and Cancelo on the back four. Roger De Bruyne in the midfield two. With Alvarez in front. Grealish on the left. Bernardo Silva on the right. Erling Haaland through the middle. On the bench. Well, Haaland's very tired, by the way. But what can we do? On the bench, we've got Mares, Gundogan. It's Philip Stones, Laporta Kanji, and Ortega Moreno. As for Leicester, Iverson starts and goes Ricardo Pereira, Amati Sonchu and Bertrand in the back four, Tillemans and Indeed in the field two, Madison in the middle, Albright's on the right, Reina on the left, Giovanni Reina, signed from Dortmund it seems, and Kelechi Ernacho at striker, Vardy and Dakar on the bench, Barnes, Sumari, Castagna, Evans and Smithies. No Ward, no Vestergaard, no Justin, no Thomas. Well, here at the King Power Stadium, this has been a very tough Premier League season so far. Match day, what, 13, 14, 15 now? Not quite the halfway point. But uh, we seem to turn the corner and then turn back. And three defeats at, row in ho at home, you know, three defeats in a row is not good enough, is it? We need to change it. And a win again today against Leicester will change things a little bit, but it's the home form I'm worried about the most. And so hello. Prayer away from Kevin De Bruyne. Grealish will keep this one in. He's lumped it into the box. It's Somehow, no one's volleyed that. Anything. Just watched it fly past them all there. The City players. The space great for him. De Bruyne. Alvarez. Cancelo. Cancelo. Haaland. Erling Haaland. Puts one wide. What can I do? What more can I do? Oh my, how has he put that wide? De Bruyne. I sometimes question what De Bruyne is even thinking. Because it's that bad. It's unbelievable. Walker. Yeah, Nacho. Chance here on the turn. Works it wide. Albright in all sorts of space here for Leicester City. Can tell a good challenge. We're not going to win this game, by the way. I can tell you now, this is going to be either a loss or a draw. Have to realise that's the way it's going to go every single time. Telemans. Whoa, Tess Edison. Nearly scores. Telemans again. Locked away. By Joao Cancelo. De Bruyne. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Walker. Walker. Alvarez, 1-0 Manchester City. We take the lead. That's more like it. Can we do that more often? 1-0, goal for Julian Alvarez in the 53rd minute. Good play by De Bruyne. And Walker. Bernardo through to Kyle Walker. And what a pass by the fullback across. De Bruyne jumps over it. Alvarez finishes it. Atrocious football. It, it really is. Full time. Less than Hill City 1. We get three points, which what matters. Alvarez goal, but... How can you enjoy this? I don't know how any of you guys can enjoy this. I apologise. I'm not enjoying this either. The football is torrid. What are those qualities that you're seeing from Alvarez that, uh, as I say? We are, all of us, we are really impressed for the guy, for the pace, for the sense of goal, for the 
the work ethic, yeah, for many things. Chelsea win 4-2, Wolves win 3-0. They'll stay top of the table, United lose 3 on to Villa. So it is us, Chelsea, Wolves, Newcastle not far behind, Villa as well. Liverpool starting to move the way up though. That being said, the team at top of the table have drawn 4 and lost 1. Shows the quality of the Premier League this season. Either the quality is terrible or everyone is so good no one can beat everyone. So we've got West Ham at home next. We are going to play West Ham away. I mean, they've got Lucas Paqueta and people in the team. But I do want to keep making progress in this series. We've played a lot of games so far. So we are going to simulate this one against West Ham at home. And to be honest with you, a lot of the team is in downward condition. A lot of the team is in downward condition. There's not much I can do. I don't want to play the game purely because of that. Because the players are not playing well anyway. I mean, they've got a good side. Eguard and, and Dawson at the back. Rice and Sojic in the midfield too. Lucas Paqueta in there. Michael Antonio up top. Skamaka on the bench. Tovan on the bench. Carne on the bench. Looking a good side, West Ham. I can't wait to face them at London Stadium, but for now, we'll simulate this game. And another scraped 1-0 win at home against West Ham this time. Chelsea beat Arsenal, Spurs beat Newcastle, Wolves beat Bournemouth, Liverpool draw, United win. Villa up there as well, they beat Nottingham Forest by one goal to nil. So it is still us, Wolves and Chelsea top of the table. Wolves, the side to beat in the Premier League currently, that is interesting. Well, we simulated our last game in the Champions League, which is going to severe a 2-1 win. Borussia Dortmund drew 2-2 with Copenhagen. Let's have a see how the group's looking. We went through plus 17 goal difference, 19 goals for, only two conceded. No draws, one defeat, and five wins with 15 points. We go through with Borussia Dortmund and Copenhagen go through into the Europa League. So Liverpool and Napoli go through. Ajax into the Europa League. Rangers knocked out. Porto and Brugge go through. Bayer Leverkusen knocked out. Atletico Madrid into the Europa League. Bayern and Inter through. Barcelona into the Europa League. Wow. Fence Farashi into the... Are completely knocked out. It Spurs into the Europa League. They've gone out as well. Frankfurt and Marseille go through into the Champions League knockout stages. Chelsea Milan go through. Zagreb into the Europa League. Real Madrid and Leipzig are through. Celtic into the Europa League. Obviously, we go through. Then finally, PSG and Benfica through. It is Juventus that go into the Europa League. So we have a choice of playing Benfica. We have a choice of playing Leipzig, AC Milan, Olympic Marseille, Inter Milan, Club Brugge or Napoli in the first rockout round of the Champions League. So back in with the Premier League action now and we face Brentford today. This is the way the team is looking. Rodri not starting today, not for it. A couple of players have really developed in their overalls. I think Foden and Mahrez have grown, haven't they? Uh, Cancelo, no. Stones, no. Maybe Gundogan's gone up to 87, which is good to see. Haaland's gone to 93, by the way. Um, the train, Grealish gone to 85. When you do train on pairs, players do seem to just shoot up sometimes. Just absolutely randomly. And they have done here. I don't think there's any others that have shot up that I've not noticed. I don't think so. Oh, rodri has gone to 89. That's about it. So Rodri's grown as well. This is I'm going to go with against Brentford. Cancelo, Stones, Akanji and Sergio Gomez at the back. Four players in down to condition today. Phillips, De Bruyne, Captain Gundogan in the midfield. Three, Grealish on the left, Bernardo on the right and Haaland through the middle. We've got Mares, Foden, Alvarez, Rodri, Ake, Diaz and Ortega Moreno on the bench. At some point, we've got to start playing the way we want to play. But at the moment, not quite there. Ivan Tony's on the bench for them, which is great. He's not starting. I am worried if he does come on at any point. So here at the Brentford Community Stadium, they welcome Manchester City, the champions of England, currently in poor form, currently not playing at our best, looking at some point to hit our form. It's coming, surely. It's surely coming at some point, but at the moment, it's not quite there. Brentford, our test today. We play well here today, although this is a good start from Brentford. Cross in here, Stones! <sighs> Nearly puts it in his own there. Not a good start, eh? Not a good start again. Cross in here. Header just past the post. Well, what a start by Brentford here. Within three minutes, all over us. Cross comes in. Attacked by Onyeka, I think it is. Past Edison's post. But a really good start by Brentford to this game. Clearances, but we get away with it. Phillips. Stones. De Bruyne. Stones, that is... Shocking. Visser and Burlo into the hands of Edison. They've had three chances to our none so far. Why go Brentford to Thompson? Swing in here. Stones heads it away. Watch the box here. Space. Chance. Edison with a save. It's in Burlo on the turn. 
Renfrew, I think, have had more shots. We haven't even had a shot yet. Aaron Hickey. Ivan Tony. You'd expect to come on, wouldn't you, for Brentford? You need him. Really should get him back. And Bermo! Saved by Edison. No support from his teammates, so it does come eventually. De Bruyne. Gundogan. Holland! 1 0 Manchester City. Finally. Play the extra pass as well. Bernardo Silva as well there in a little tight space. Over to Gundogan. Could shoot. No, he pulls it back to Haaland. Sets it on that right foot. His weaker right foot. And hammers it home. 1-0 Manchester City. Better. Better, better, better. But let's keep going now. Long by Brentford. Cancelo in there. Oh, Kanji. Half asleep. And Bermo off the post. Well, Manuel Akanji, think yourself lucky there. That is shocking from Akanji. And Bermo played in. Luckily, he's finished his poor off the post. So, so lucky that we're still at 1-0 up here. Manuel Akanji, no idea what he's doing. Canos is on for Hickey. I don't know how, when he, how he loses the ball on the roll there, Gomez, but he has done. Akanji's out of position. It's in Bermo. It's across to Ivan Tony. And Ivan Tony does not miss his 1 1. And Manuel Akanji's having a shocker. Really poor from Akanji. And what a finish from Ivan Tony. They deserve that, Brentford. Cancelo. Oh my word. Oh my word. Slow down. Oh. Well, Edison. Two men to aim for, Joao Cancelo. 1-1 one, one draw at Brentford. Another draw. When do we ever win a game? When do we ever win a game? Another shocking performance. Well, Chelsea win 3-1 against Wolves. That's big at the top of the table. It's Chelsea's title to lose. I think Newcastle win 2-0. So we're in third on 32. Top of the table, Chelsea on 36. Second, Wolves on 34. We look miles off it. Absolutely miles off it. Another draw, five draws already in this season. Well, midfield is one of the areas we're really looking at for next summer, and we're constantly getting scout reports from midfielders around the world. And today it is Moxon's Kakare, 22 years of age, the Lyon midfielder, French player who might be a French international in a few years' time. His market value is around 30 million, but we are expecting Lyon to be tough negotiators with Alice the um, director, so we're expecting 45 to 55 million if we went for this player. He's currently around 81 rate, he's got a potential of 86, so not much growth left in him, but he could outdo that, of course. This is just what the scout report thinks. He's aggressive, he's a high quality passer, and he's got great uh, close control as well. 12 appearances so far for Lyon in Ligue 1 this season, no goals nor assists. That, I think that is also including the Champions League as well. He's a hard working player with a great passing range, he's calm in possession, he's got good close control, and he's mainly a tidy and solid player. And that right there that's come back from our scout really does interest me. A tidy and solid player. That is what we, we sort of want in our midfield, don't we? Especially if we were to lose, you know, Ilkay Gundogan or someone like that. Now, he does have weaknesses. We're not sure if he could handle the Premier League. We're not sure he's the quickest of midfielders either. And, and that could be an issue for Maxon's Kakare. And that is something the scout has picked out that, you know, he hasn't got quite the physicality of the speed to maybe handle the Premier League and the intensity of the Premier League all the time and his defensive awareness is lacking sometimes and when we're looking for a replacement a long-term replacement for someone like Ilkay Gundogan we want someone who has good you know defensive abilities as well can go forward and backwards similarly to Bernardo Silva it could be either of those players we are replacing and even if things come to the worst we might be replacing both Bernardo Silva and Ilkay Gundogan that is not the idea we want to keep at least one of them but it's very uncertain what happens in the transfer market and obviously it's mainly down to both the players who are very much in control of their future so Maxon's Kakare another option going into next summer well, the final game of today's episode will be Leeds United at home this is the side we go with Diaz and Laporte Partner at the back with Walker and Kinsella, the fullbacks. It's Grealish, De Bruyne, and Rodri in the midfield. Three. Phone on the left. Bernardo Silva, actually, no. Grealish on the left. Phone on the right. Bernardo Silva through the middle makes way more sense. Erling Haaland up top on the bench. Gundogan, Phillips, Mares, Alvarez, Ake, Stones, and Ortega Moreno. Leeds, Sinister, and Harrison on the wings. Rodrigo through the middle. Aronson, Adams, and Mark Rocker in the midfield. Three. It's Kosh, Cooper, Firpo, Ailing at the back. Melier in goal. 
Bamford possibly an option off the bench. No one else really attacking wise. Darko Giabi in the reserves. He was an ex City player. So finally a sunny day in Manchester. And we welcome Leeds United to the Etihad Stadium. To see how we can play against each other. Can City finally get some points? Can City finally play well? I hope so. Because so far in the season we've been up and down. Perhaps the second half of the season is where things really start to work. I hope that's the case. That tends to be where we play really well and we drop off towards the end of the season. Perhaps this year it'll be the opposite. A chance for Leeds here. Harrison Sinistera the chance. Edison with a save. Cancelo clears. Good start by Leeds. Ailing. Chance again. And flash past the post by Jack Harrison. What a start this game by Leeds United. What another shocking start by us to this game. De Bruyne, good ball. De Bruyne, Haaland's in there. Haaland and the rebound straight at Melier. De Bruyne gives it away again. Kevin De Bruyne. He's a wonderful passer to the opposition at the moment. Rodrigo. Harrison. Pass Cancelo. Oh, he's just put it wide, Jack Harrison. Well, they've had three chances to our none. It's similar to the Brentford game. Every game... Is a replica of the previous one. Cancelo. Bernardo Silva. Grealish. Grealish. Haaland with a chance here. 1-0 Manchester City. Finds Erling Carl in the 34th minute. And he does score. And with the halfway point, we'll have to have a look at how many goals he scored in the Premier League. Would be interesting to see. Doesn't feel like that many, but he feels like he scores nearly every game. Grealish through to him. Haaland finishes with that left foot. Good finish by Haaland. One nil lead leads. All the way through to Cancelo on the far side now. Rodri. De Bruyne. He's lost it again, Kevin De Bruyne. Counter, Rodrigo. Don't know what to do with Kevin De Bruyne, but... Every game he's, he's at fault for most of the problems. Oh, Cancelo, what are you doing? <laughs> what can I do? Just what can I do? What has Cancelo done here? Why just stop? I don't get it. 1-1 one, one with Leeds. I just don't get it. Oh, I don't get it. Half time, 1-1 one, one with Leeds. That's not the case. But it's happened that way. Should be 1-0. Grealish. Haaland, what a turn. Erling Haaland straight at Melier. Bernardo Silva. Cancelo. Well played. Grealish. Bernardo. Foden with a chance and Phil Foden shanks it completely. But Haaland should have scored before that. And Haaland doesn't score again. Cancelo. De Bruyne. Foden. Into Haaland. Again, Leeds get it away. Harrison. How have we not won this game? How have we not won this game? Rodri. De Bruyne. Bernardo. Grealish. Grealish. Haaland with a chance. Two on Manchester City. He should have had four today, Haaland. Again. Bernardo on the turn into Grealish. Just bumps off Ailing. And sets a tap in for Ailing Carlin. But boy, should 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 Haaland got more goals. Patrick Bamford comes on. We're going to stick with the team. I don't to make any subs at all. Good pressing though to stop Cooper from going anywhere. For sure he's on as well for Tyler Adams. Fold him. Bernardo. De Bruyne. Bernardo. Haaland with a chance. It's a hat-trick for Erling Haaland. It's 3-1. More of that Manchester City. More of that Manchester City. 3-1. Perhaps we've turned a corner. Perhaps not. Good play by De Bruyne and Bernardo. Into Haaland and on the turn. He finished it into the back of the net. 3-1. We will make a substitution now. Haaland's off. Alvarez is on. That's the only change we're going to make. We'll rest Erling Haaland. But he's got a hat-trick today. This is better from us. 
Foden, what a run. Oh, fair poke. Haaland still. Oh, he's put a sitter wide. I just don't get how he's missing these chances. Like 90 odd finishing. He's 93 rated. He's off now. Grealish. Alvarez. Alvarez! Oh, what a save. Grealish back into the box. Melier with an easy save. Nearly. Julian Alvarez. That might have been his first Premier League goal if he'd scored there. Julian Alvarez not scored in the Premier League, has he so far? Perhaps we'll start playing better in the Premier League now. Long ball, full time. We end the episode with a 3 on win over Leeds. I'd like to think we've turned a corner, but I, I wouldn't be too sure too soon. Cancelo played well. Everyone really played well today. Haaland hat trick. More goals for Haaland, the better. Well, Chelsea lose 1-0 to Leicester City, but Wolves do win 2-1. Liverpool win 4-2 as well. They probably move at the table now. Liverpool are not far off us. Wolves top on 37. Chelsea in second on 36. And we're in third on 35 points. Let's just check out the top goal scorers as well in the Premier League before we end today's episode. So the top goal scorer in the Premier League is Erling Haaland with 14. Mo Salah's got 10. De Bruyne has got 5. So Haaland is the top goal scorer. And the top in assists is... Kevin De Bruyne, five assists so far this season. Not that many. Foden's also got four, but now Silver, three. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you join the We Are City Membership Club, you can see extended episodes in the Bronze Club or early access to the extended episodes and every episode in the Silver and Gold Club. We'll see you guys next time.